It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, well, we've got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills and themselves. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Throwing on first down is Allen. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 33. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Allen again here on second and ten. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the ten. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and ten. Now Allen, flush to his right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Allen looks to throw on second down. Setting up the screen for Cook. Finding space at the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Shakir holds it in. Touchdown, Khalil Shakir, 34 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Extra point by Bass, up and good. These two teams all tied after one. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it as we resume action. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one carries out of the side of the end zone for a touchback. So that will come out now to the 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Well, there he goes, right side. Touchdown! James Cook. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bills have taken the lead. And that's another route the defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. You know, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now a third and six. Allen going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. 
They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Steps away. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. Here's Allen to throw it. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis, 27 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. <laughs> Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Now Allen throwing on second down. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? From the 20, here's second and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now second and three. The slot man in motion right. From the gun, it's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Bills take a three-touchdown lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard <laughs> line and no further. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Allen now looks to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
Rasul Douglas picks it. And he is going to score. Yeah. Yeah. All right, time to go, man. I mean, at this point, CD, what is not going their way in this first half? After that pick six, they now have a four-possession lead here. And that allows them to say to themselves, how about we get everybody involved, okay? Because this one is a runaway, and it's looking like it's going to be even more of a runaway. Everybody gets a chance to play and get a little bit of love. The more guys that get to watch the highlight reels from this one, the better. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by... I just need you to know one thing, bud. They cannot advance in here. The only reason why you're down this bad right now is not because you're playing poorly. You're actually playing pretty good. It's the fact that you made me lock in. You made me lock in because you celebrated on a little stick move, but did a little celebration. So, uh, that's why you're losing. And there was none to be because you pissed me off. And they tackle it for just a short game. A final shot before half for Allen. On the move to his left. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And a little dangerous there, almost a penalty, but it does get into the end zone before going over the sideline for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. On play action, Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now Allen. And this one is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Allen will try again on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Throwing now is Allen. Flushed out right. Touchdown! 
Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Allen will try to throw for it. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Uh, I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. They want the onside kick as well. The Bills say they have it, and they do. Like I said, because you want to, you want to celebrate. I got you. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing, and it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game, and we can kind of do what we want. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Buffalo Bills. Play action. Now it's Allen. Rolling to his right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. To throw, it's Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. You get five, that's a whale of a game. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken a six-touchdown lead. Allen hit. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble could have been trouble. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just... Oh, a cardinal sin there, thrown back over the middle, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the penalty on the offense, no need to accept that. They'll decline it, and the interception will stand. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 44. 
He'll set up to throw from the gun. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Oh, he's been fun to watch in this one. He's made the correct reads all game long and helped stake his team a huge lead. Running, passing, he's made all the right decisions. But that wasn't the right read on that one. It falls incomplete. Now this throw caught left side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Allen now on first down. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points. But he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to be dropped quickly right there at the 48, a couple yards shy of midfield. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Allen. Buying time to his left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Now Allen, got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Now try and wind down some clock with Cook. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They're going to hurry back to the line now. That's good for a football On play action, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Allen looks to throw on second down. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. And a touchdown, apparently not enough. They want more, an onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wondered that. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And he's got it inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal of Buffalo. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. Rolling to his left. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed, I did, my good man. So now Allen and the Bills going to stay out and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't Sir, you're not me. You can't do that. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. To the air, Allen. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. They'll take over first and ten at their own two-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. But well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's a second and eight. On play action, Allen. Finding Shakir across the formation. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available 
and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And now this is either a fake or their coach is delusional or both here. And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme failure, as that is obviously no good. And they will remain well, well behind. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed? They did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.